Hey, so OS reviews, you're watching our video review of the Inatec BCST20. These are a wireless one-dimensional barcode scanner and it operates over 2.4G or GHC. And so it utilizes a mini USB receiver that connects onto your computer or your tablet or whatever device you're using to, con to actually collect the data from the barcodes. And then you can now use the actual device wirelessly. And it has a range of up to 10 meters, which is quite decent for a barcode scanner. Um, it comes pre-charged and it can charge via a micro USB cable. So it's pretty easy to do. And again, it has a pretty long life in terms of battery life, which is the part that it claims. Now this isn't a three dimensional laser uh, barcode scanner, so it's not gonna do more complex scans. It's just gonna do pretty flat 1D uh, scans uh, for example, some QR codes and some basic codes for inventory, but it can store up quite a bit. So for a very light scanner, I think that this would definitely do a trick. You can purchase this on amazon.com for about, um, for actually under, at around the same street price of around $50, which is a pretty good value for the money for something of this um, that's actually brand new. And it comes, into, it comes in around three to five days after you order it. So pretty nice in terms of the packaging. It's actually recyclable as well. And again, you can store up to 2,600 barcodes. So it's pretty good for smaller businesses as well. It's also shock, shock proof, so you can actually drop it and the button can be used up to 55 million times. So technically it should last you a long, long time when you're using these. So in the packaging itself, we have access to a micro USB cable for connecting to the, uh, actually not a micro USB cable, but a uh, more proprietary cable actually can connects to the scanner for you to charge it and to use it as a wired barcode scanner, which you can also do if you don't want to use the uh, wireless mode with the 2.4G adapter. Um, and also in here we have access to the barcode scanner, the actual adapter tip for you to plug into a computer. Both PC and Mac is supported plug and play, so no drivers are needed for you to actually start operating the product, which is pretty impressive. In here we have access to the instruction manual. The instruction manual is pretty useful because it includes, uh, tells you how to actually operate the unit and also include some sample barcodes that you'll need to use to set up the product. From taking a device into and out of sleep modes uh, for you to delete and undelete data, all of these different barcodes are pre-included that you want to keep. Uh, so you definitely make sure you don't throw this instruction manual out. There's also some setup barcodes for you to easily set up different modes so that you don't have to go through those uh, manually and set them yourself. So some quick access keys. Now the English here could be improved. There is some, um, it's a little bit confusing to read the user manual to be honest, but uh, if you try and experiment with it, it's not too bad. Um, you can definitely get through it and also it's overall pretty good as far as the laser itself being being read um, and it's easy to see. There's also an LED indicator that will tell you when the product is running low on battery, when it's scanning something, and when it's being scanned. So over here we have access to the receiver. Again, it's very, very small. So the benefit of this is that if after you install it onto a computer, it nearly disappears. So you don't have to unplug it when you're traveling, which is pretty good. Uh, again, it works with both Mac and PC. And over here we have the actual scanner itself. It's wrapped quite well. This is actually available uh, for the US market, the Canadian market, the UK market, and Asian markets. So it's uh, widely available from Inatech, which is always decent. Over here, this is the scanner itself. Again, it's a red scanner, so you can see the laser going up. The diode is pretty strong, so it's a pretty accurate one. It can definitely go to a pretty good range, which is nice. And we have the Inatech logo on the top. It feels like a very quality piece of hardware in the hand. The handlebars here are crafted out of this nice soft touch grippy material, which makes holding it really easy. And also the click key itself is tactile and responsive. So it definitely feels like it's gonna last, and you do know when you're pressing it, uh, which is excellent. And the bottom here also features the place for the uh, for the USB connector to be connected to your computer for charging uh, or for syncing information. Um, so overall, as far as the hardware is considered, it definitely works. Oh, yes, the actual well. scanner itself also features a audible tone. So it has a uh, volume, has a has a speaker in here, a very monotone speaker, but it allows you to know when you've scanned something. So for example, the first barcode that's included on the guide over here is actually the offline mode. So after you scan this, it takes your uh, scanner offline. So uh, make sure that it isn't connected to, again, the, the internet through your through your um, actual computer so again you would scan this like so and it would make a sound again it's pretty responsive as well so even if we vary the distance I'm gonna take the scanner pretty further away it's still gonna you know manage to read the actual code if I take it a little closer it's gonna read it and uh, it's a very fast response time. So as long as it's gonna recognize the codes that you input, again, 2,600, which is quite a bit, it's gonna go just fine. And again, it's pretty responsive. It knows what it's doing, um, it's fast, and it's pretty efficient.
As far as battery life is considered, on a full charge, the actual scanner itself lasted us about two to three days, uh, depending on how much you use it before we had to recharge it. So battery life is also pretty decent. And again, as the manufacturer claims, it's one of the selling points of, the, of this particular scanner is the long battery life. So overall, the scanning process is easy to use. It's easy to operate. You can input it into different documents. Um, you can also put it into different inventory sheets, and it will recognize all those third-party programs. It's plug and play. It's just going to put the data out. Um, it's pretty easy to set up with this user guide, so make sure you keep that, um, and I think that you'll be ready to go. You can check out our full review on this product down in the description box below, but this has been our video review of the Enatech uh, 1D barcode scanner. This has been the BCST20 series. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.